Welcome back everyone. My favorite part in some movies is when the hero is training and learning some new skills. You want to think of this tutorial series as a scene just like that. You are the student and the master is giving you some cool information. One day you will rise and become a grandmaster yourself. With a little bit of persistence, anything is possible. So let's talk about the different kinds of programming languages. What we just coded in was a language called HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. This is the language the web runs on. HTML is important to learn because it is an integral part of the internet. As you view this tutorial series on the internet, the website is coded in HTML. While HTML was being developed, the community decided that while HTML could display the content of web pages, it couldn't really display the content in a stylish way. Another programming language was invented to complement HTML and not only make the websites easier to read, but easier to style as well. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. What CSS does is take away some of the style pressure from the HTML and isolates it in another document and language. This is done so that when you are coding in HTML, all the stylish parts of the code are separated and are easier to manipulate and play around with. We will be learning about HTML and CSS in this series. In the next tutorial, we will talk a bit about JavaScript. I'll see you in the next tutorial.